Well, the new work is called Caravaggio, uh, Exile and Death. Um, and the whole uh, concept of the piece really uh, arrived from a few years ago where I took a short film course. And a lot of the lecturers would talk about Caravaggio and Caravaggio's lighting. And uh, that got me thinking, <clears throat> subconsciously, I think I've always liked his work. And I've always liked that look um, of the dark and light. And then the more I dealt uh, with Caravaggio, I found out about his rather quite extraordinary life. Um, and I guess in today's terms, he would be a, a rock and roll rock star with this um, lifestyle of his. And so I, I kind of had this idea to do a piece about his work and about his, him himself. And, and Caravaggio for me is, is uh, quite a political angle as well. You know, I'm a modern choreographer looking at something from the 16th, 17th century. Um, and my perceptions are going to be very different. So there's all sorts of things that are happening in this piece. That I can bring through. Within the piece as well um, there is uh, design and the design involves a lot of projections using the back of the stage and the floor at the same time and we're able to shift the perspective um, in very cinematic terms and shift uh, through one scene to another in a very almost MTV kind of style. I work with a lot of universities and colleges here in England and, and in the States and it gives me an, uh, a chance to teach them and when the deans ask me to choreograph something I'm actually, I'm actually thinking of a piece that I want to do professionally. So it's a lab for me and Exile and Death, the section started way back four years ago with students of the Northern School of Contemporary Dance and it's really nice for me to be working with people that I've worked with in the past uh, and to have seen their journey um, as dancers, so it's, it's been a real pleasure. People who have influenced me, um, I'd say my old boss, Robert Cohen, who was uh, artistic director here for many years and he's been a mentor to me. He danced and partnered Martha Graham. Uh, for me, that's always been a line um, that his knowledge has been passed down from Martha to him to me, and I'll pass it on to other people as well. The one person I really regret not to have worked with would be Pina Bausch. And I just find her work says most things that I would like to say. And um, I just find it beautiful.